I've been super stoked about playing with my iPhone 7 Plus and turning it into a super video camera. And the very first app that I learned was Filmic Pro. And I want, there's a lot of resources, but I want to give you the basics here, uh, the way I understand them. First, I like to open up the compass and set my level. Um, once it's at zero and green, you know it's you've locked in your level. It's a nice little trick. These are various mini tripods to use with the iPhone. We're now on the Filmic Pro app. The very first thing I'm going to do is go into settings here in the bottom right corner and set the resolution. Set it to 4K, which is the highest possible resolution on the iPhone. Here at the bottom, these are the different quality levels and compression and, and um, file sizes vary here. Next, go into frame rate. Default here is 24. I'm going to just keep it at 24. If you want to shoot at high speed for doing slow motion, you need to change your resolution from 4K down lower to HD. So in HD 1080, uh, 1920, the highest speed we can shoot is 120. If you go down to 720, you can shoot 240. I did notice, however, that of course the picture quality does decrease when you're when you're shooting at 120. Those two basic things I always check first before start starting to shoot. The next two basic things are exposure and focus. The circle here is for the exposure. I'm moving now to the highlights to darken the exposure. Moving to the dark areas to lighten the exposure. This is the automatic way of adjusting exposure. You can also manually go in. Let's see, there are tools up here. This is the zebras. The red stripes are blown out and the blue stripes are underexposed. To manually adjust the exposure, you go in here, press slide your thumb in from the left side here. Or you can hold and press the circle. We get the ISO on the top and the shutting here. If you slide it, um, it's changing the shutter and the ISO at the same time. It's better to hold and lock one of them. Hold and lock the shutter, and then I can slide the ISO. Next is the focus. The focus is really important. I'm sliding my thumb in on the right side to get this uh, slider. Slide your thumb here on the edge of the screen, you get this menu that pops out with a slider. And I can slide in, find my focus. The trick that I use is I always zoom first. Just like with your DSLR, you zoom in, pop it in, find your focus, and then pull out, and then start shooting. Now I know my focus is tight. Another trick for focusing is you can use these tools on the top here. Here you have the green and the blue are on the edges that are, are in sharp focus, the green being the sharpest. Then you can zoom out. Down here, these icons here, you have the battery level, and then the green pie here is the internal storage. And you have your audio levels. Just good to make sure you're getting sound. Oh, well, it looks like we're shooting 1080p. Go in here to the resolution. And now yeah, we should be shooting 4K. Change this to 4K. And increase the quality to the max. Okay, now we can press record. Okay, guys, that was the first uh, Film and Pro tutorial. And I'm going to be showing a lot more of. Um, apps to turn your iPhone into a pocket studio.
Thank you.